Federal Government Central Database for Recovered Assets, NICOM Statement on Recapitalization, MBS Release of August Inflation Report, the 13th Annual Banking and Finance Conference, and the Nigerian Police Bureau signing for 2020. The federal government during the week launched two tools, the Central Database on Recovered Assets and the Central Criminal Justice Information System to enhance transparency in its fight against corruption in the country. The tools, offshoot of the Asset Tracing, Recovery and Management Regulations 2019 and the National Anti-Corruption Strategy is to give bites to President Muhammad Buhari's administration's war against corruption by preventing the looting of recovered assets and win international collaboration towards checkmating illicit financial flow and other crimes. The scheme, which was unveiled by the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Mr. Buraka Malami, in the presence of critical stakeholders, is aimed at specifically bringing into one central platform recovered loose by various anti graft agencies in the country. The National Insurance Commission during the week announced that it was going to factor in all outstanding claims before judging any insurance company to have attained the recapitalization requirements, the Commissioner for Insurance, Mr. Sonny Thomas, said. He said this in an interview with Nyko Trumpet, a journal published by the National Association of Insurance and Pensions Correspondents, adding that companies that have claims that have been more than some number of months in their books have to clear them before they can be considered to have scaled the capitalization follows. The National Bureau of Statistics released during the week the Consumer Price Index, which measures inflation and showed that it increased by 13.22% in August 2020, a 0.40% points higher rate than recorded in July 2020, which was 12.82%. Increases were recorded in all divisions that yielded the headline index. On a month on month basis, the headline index increased by 1.34% in August 2020, a 0.09% high rate record and recorded in July 2020, which was 1.35%. Banking stakeholders in Unison insisted that banks must play a critical role to restore the Nigerian economy from the negative effects of COVID-19. This was the key discussion at the recent 13th Annual Banking and Finance Conference in Abuja, hosted by the Chala Institute of Bankers of Nigeria. The hybrid conference also featured in Lagos and also on the virtual platforms. Speakers at the event include the Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Mr. Godwin Nefiele, the President and Chairman of Council of CIBN, Mr. Bayo Lugumi, who was the Chief Host, and Mr. Patrick Akinwatan, CEO of Ecobank Nigeria, who was the chairman of the CIBM Consultative Committee organizing the conference. They all agreed that there was imperative from an economic as well as a security perspective for banks to work to support growth in sectors that have significant growth potentials. These sectors in the include agriculture, information, communication technology, and infrastructure finance, amongst others. President Muhammad Buhari during the week signed into law the Nigerian Police Bill 2020. The President, in a memo dated September 16, 2020, communicated his assent to the bill to the National Assembly to the clerk of the legislature. The Act repeals the Police Act Cap P19, laws of the Federation 2004, and provides for a more effective and well organized police force driven by the principle of transparency and accountability in its operations and management of its resources. Among others, the Act establishes an appropriate funding framework for the police in line with what is obtainable in other federal government institutions, enhances professionalism in the force through increased training opportunities and creates an enduring cooperation and partnership between the police force and communities in maintaining peace and combating crimes nationwide. And that we all for this edition of the Weekend Review. You can join our website www.coachange.com to read our reports and analysis and also watch our videos. To come your way again, thank you for being part of this program and wishing you a great weekend.